Hey everyone, it's Tyler and I'm back again with another video and thought I'd switch things up. I thought I'd maybe do kind of a photo talk. So a couple weekends ago, I was down in Chicago and doing a little architecture photography, doing some street photography, but really just getting some reps at my 35 millimeter lens. Now I can't say these are my best photos that I've ever taken, but I did have some takeaways. So let's take a look. Exiting Union Station, the light provided some really nice contrast. I could do without the luggage and the people, or really maybe more people, interacting with that light. But there's something about those repeating lines, both on the ground and in the columns, that's very interesting. Now with this photo, I really like the wideness and the sharpness that I was able to capture with it. I really like the juxtaposition of the buildings and the light and shadows that cast amongst them, including the flamingo. Like many of my trips to Chicago, I took a stop at the Art Institute to have a walk around, see the Warhol exhibit, uh, and really just try and get inspired. Well, I can't really talk at length about this photo exhibit, even who the artist was or what it was about. Turning the corner into this little area of the exhibit I really enjoyed the light that was coming in through these windows. This soft, very minimal light touching this very tiny photograph and casting onto the wooden floor. There's something about it that spoke to me. So walking down the street, I see the ale ahead and I can also see the buildings behind it being illuminated by this beautiful light. And I thought, that's going to be a good photo. I've got to stand by, I've got to wait for a train to come and the train will be lit up by this sunlight. Well, it didn't quite work out that way. I do enjoy how the windows between the building and also the train kind of interact with each other. There's kind of this mirroring of two different things. There's the train, obviously the building, but also that light glimmering across the building. I do wish the train would have been lit up though. So to be honest, this photo was kind of taken really out of boredom. I wasn't seeing a lot of buildings or things that really jumped out at me or interest me. I really just lifted up my camera and snapped a photo. Once I got to the editing phase, this one really jumped out at me. I think the first thing that jumps out to me is the sharpness of those lines within the windows and also the perspective of how these buildings are interacting. But the thing that jumps out about this photo is the color. It's that warm gradation throughout the middle building where it goes to this light yellow to this kind of warm orange and also how the shadows interact between the buildings where you go up and it's lighter and you go down and there's more shade. But really another thing that's interesting about this photo is the vignetting that I was able to achieve with the lens. So you have these soft corners, you have the vignetting kind of pushing more towards the gradation of those colors. So here's one of those photos that I could have kept taking and taking and taking, and I'm not sure I ever would have found the best composition for it. Part of it was the lens choice, part of it was positioning, but here's a look at it anyways. So as you can tell, this is an advertisement for the Warhol exhibit at the Art Institute. One of the things that I like about this photo is the way the light and the shadow were interacting with the buildings and with Warhol's Marilyn. Any way I moved, it would change things up. It would make it better, it would make it worse, and trying to capture that. And I really think these are the two best options. And really, the colors, the colors stand out. There's obviously the blue sky that matches with the blue eyeliner. You have the complement of orange in the background. I think this is the photo that kind of showcases the trip. There's good light, there's good color, there's angles, there's sharpness, I'm embracing wideness. Yeah, I did crop a little bit, but I'm showcasing it and really working for that image. So that's my photo talk from Chicago. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe or follow me on Instagram at Tyler. And with that, I'm off. I'm gonna take some more photos. We'll see you next time.